In part 1, we used Scan and Solve to perform stress analysis on the native unmeshed Rhino model of this cast quadrant, with numerous small features and details. But of course, any such test is only a rough approximation of physical reality. Usually, one should perform a number of additional tests under varying assumptions in order to gain confidence in the computed results. Fortunately, Scan and Solve makes this easy. Changing resolution or modifying loads, restraints, and materials takes little or no time at all. Switch back to the Specify tab. First, let's increase the resolution to 70,000 and repeat the test. If the computed results were accurate, increasing the resolution should not lead to significant changes in displacements and stresses, as appears to be the case with this quadrant. Now, depending on the details of mounting, it may also be reasonable to restrain the mounting holes instead of the back face. And let's see what happens if we redistribute the 375 pound bearing load equally between the bores. This is reassuring. The stresses may be higher in some areas, for example near the holes, but still appear to be in a safe range. For our final experiment, let's change to a different material, for example aluminum, and repeat the computations. This does not seem like a good idea, because these red areas suggest that the quadrant is likely to break under the applied loads. Please visit and register at www.scanandsolve.com to download the latest version of Scan and Solve for Rhino.